Hello everyone. So uh, as I promised, I'm going to now use uh, this unbind circuit analysis tool to analyze the same circuit that we did the three different methods and see how it, easy it is to uh, check our work and make sure that everything is correct. So from uh, the left panel, I'm going to start choosing the components that I need. So we need a voltage source. We need uh, couple of resistors and then when I want to rotate it I just hold it and then uh, hit R and it rotates them and uh, another resistor here another resistor here and one last resistor down here and actually move them a little bit apart to not make it too crowded and then finally I need an dependent source so current controlled voltage source now I am going to connect these all to each other You hold uh, your mouse, and it's, it's really easy to do this. Okay, so this concludes all the components in our circuit. Now let's set the values. So that will click on this, enter 160 volts for the source. Double click. This is our 10 ohm resistor. Double click. This is our 20 ohm resistor. Double click this is our 30 ohm resistor, and that's actually 100 ohm. I don't have to change this now. Uh, the complicated one is this one where I have to define what current is actually controlling the value of this voltage, and that's the current passing through the 100 ohm going from the bottom. So it would be the current passing through R2 and N node B, it's called in this. So this is node A, node B. If you want to be 100% sure when we start analyzing, you can see. So what this means is that the current is entering into the node B, which is down here. And so I sigma and that problem is, was defined this way. So now uh, the value was 150 times I sigma. Uh, that... Uh, concludes our definition of the circuit so next we go to simulate and then run DC solver DC means that everything is constant and DC stands for uh, direct current so everything is constant everything is in the same direction uh, doesn't change direction so it's DC direct current or directional current okay so hit run and it says that everything uh, running DC over point oh we haven't good that we have this problem I forgot to define the ground so let's go and define the ground my ground would be right here uh, now that I did this I actually I'm going to define nodes as well this was node 1 node 2 and node 3 and you can choose any name like v1 v2 v3 if you want to uh, let's actually do that so that corresponds to what we had in our analysis so that's v1 and call this one v2 and call this one v3 so with that i go back to simulate run dc solver and it says that everything was calculated no now uh what I need, I just move my mouse up to these nodes and this probe shows up and I click and I see the value. So V1 is 100 volts. As you remember, that was what we calculated. Then you go here, V2 is minus 50. Again, that's what we calculated and V3 is 100 volts. So now if you're looking for the currents, you can go on the node right at the end of the component and hit uh, click 
and that not only gives you the voltage of that resistor but also gives you the current so the current ha turns out to be 6 amp and it's entering the node A so that's node A of the resistor so if we do the same thing here well let's actually do it here because we want to make sure so down here the voltage is obviously 0 but the current is minus 1 amp um, and it's basically node B so the current actually coming out of node B in other words and so on and so forth um, so one last one uh, let's click here and it gives you the current that goes into the resistor 3 as being 5 amp and these are all the same values that we calculated uh, using our methodology uh, hopefully this has been helpful uh, thank you very much for your attention